This work introduces SoftBlueNet, which focuses on building shape descriptors for point clouds. The problem starts with a given partial scan of an object, which is often acquired by a depth camera from a single view. The goal then is to use deep learning methods to complete the reconstruction. There are usually two trends to solve the problem. Voxel reconstructions are the most popular because their data is organized, which allows us to directly apply convolutions. But due to their limited resolution, voxel reconstructions are not as good as point clouds. So this work focuses on point clouds. There are several methods that aim to solve this problem. For example, folding it deforms a 2D grid from a global feature to form the desired shape. AtlasNet generates an object with a set of local patches to simulate mesh data. While recently, PCN proposes a course to find pipeline where folding net is applied locally. What is noticeable with these methods is the amount of noise in the reconstruction. This is attributed to the overlaps between different local patches. With a similar goal, we propose an architecture called SoftPullNet that significantly improves the completion. For instance, in our reconstruction, the two wings of the biplane are clearly separated. What is common across all these methods is that all of them relies on an encoder-decoder architecture. But what makes us different is that while the other three methods uses point net features, our method relies on the soft pull net features. So, what is soft pull net? Similar to point net, each point on the cloud goes through the multi-layer perception, or MLP. But, instead of conducting the max pooling operation, soft pull net replaces this module by taking into account multiple features with high scores rather than just one. Because point clouds are unstructured, a key property that we need to maintain from point net is a permutation invariant so that the order of the points in the cloud does not affect the reconstruction. Let's start with a toy example where a point cloud contains five points. Given the results from MLP with one feature vector per point, We look at the kth element across all vectors. And sort the vectors based on these values in a descending order. After repeating the process for all the columns, we then take the first few rows of each matrix to form regions. And concatenate them to build the soft pool net feature. With a side by side comparison with point net, we can clearly observe that the proposed feature stores more information while preserving the permutation invariants. Because of the way we structure our features, we introduce the regional convolutions in our decoder, where one dimension of the kernel is the same as the proposed feature. By increasing the dimension of the kernel to 3, we can represent the columns of the results as the x, 
y, and z coordinates of the pollen cloud. Therefore, we use the region of convolutions to reconstruct a sparse point cloud. Where the first region of convolution produces 256 points, the second interpolates to a higher resolution with 16,384. While training this architecture, we are motivated with the following loss functions. The first is the most common when reconstructing point clouds from a single view. It simply compares the predicted with the ground truth through the chamfer distance. But even if the chamfer distance is sufficient to produce the reconstruction, there are still some issues that we need to resolve. Because the point clouds are unorganized, we need to enforce that the points must be distributed under reconstruction. Otherwise, like the example, we end up with a very dense backrest, but with a very large hole on the seat. To avoid this, we take advantage of the earth moving distance to match the points before and after soft pulling. Another observation is that the patches from different regions are assembled on top of each other, leading to a very noisy reconstruction. We then impose a loss function that minimizes the overlap by restricting the connection between adjacent regions to their boundaries. Since this problem is also shared by other methods such as PCN and folding net, an important property of this loss function is that it can also be beneficial for these methods. The next two loss functions are particularly essential for the soft pull net features. One of them boosts the confidence of each feature to be in a single region. With the intra-regional loss, we minimize the feature entropy. The optimum case is for each feature to be a one-hot code, such that only one element is one, while the others are zero. The other loss function aims at distributing the points through the regions, so that different regions select distinct points. With the interregional laws, we rely on the regional entropy ER. Now let's see how it performs. The first example that we show is a monster truck, which is not a typical model in the car category. But even so, the proposed method reconstructs the wheel with good contours and a smooth body that is very close to the ground truth, while other methods that rely on point net mostly fail. Here is another example, where the reconstruction of the two vertical stabilizers from our method are well defined, and we also have less noise on our surface. Of course, these results are validated numerically, where we obtain state-of-the-art performance on ShapeNet. Notice that this evaluation includes folding net and PCN with the loss function to avoid overlapping regions, and shows that both methods can take advantage of the proposed loss function. But even so, our method still acquires the best results. So, can we use the soft pull net features for other objectives? Well, yes. The proposed features are not limited to reconstruction. For example, we also evaluated it on object classification and achieved great results on ModelNet 40, ModelNet 10, and PartNet.